Okay, we're given the graph of an exponential function and we're trying to come up with the function itself. So as we get going on this, I like to try to pick out a couple points that are actually on my graph. Now it looks like on this one that our horizontal asymptote is getting close to the x-axis over on the left-hand side. So I don't have to worry about that having been moved around. However, let's go ahead and pick out, I think if we know our y-intercept, that's gonna be handy. That goes with the ordered pair zero, three, it appears on this graph. And then picking out one additional point, I think one six is gonna be on here. You may wanna zoom in just to double check. I believe one six is an additional point on here. I think you may be able to do two twelve as well. Um, but let's go with one six and zero three, just focus on that. Okay, so we know this is an exponential function. So it's gotta fit into this format, f of x equals a times b to the x power. And what I'm gonna do is basically treat this as one ordered pair at a time. Let's create some equations. So with our first ordered pair, we have an x value of zero and an f of x value or y value of three. So let's plug that in. Create one equation by saying three equals a times b to the zero power. And then a second equation using our second ordered pair here, we can say six equals a times b to the first power. Okay, from here, um, we have two separate equations, but looking at this left-hand side, we know that b to the zero power or anything raised to the zero power is gonna be one. So really what we have going on here is we have a times one, or that's the same thing as just a equals three. From here, now that we have a value for a, what we can do is we can take that up here to our other equation that we created and substitute that in. So we can say six equals three times b to the first power. Now our goal is simply to solve for b. Well, that shouldn't be too, too difficult. This is b times three. So let's get rid of the three by dividing both sides by three. So we get two equals our value for b. Now we have a value for a and a value for b. Putting these back into that formula, we have f of x equals three times two to the x power. So substitute both these back into our original function because we knew it was an exponential function. All right, hope this helps out. Good luck in switching from graphed exponential functions over into the equation of the function itself.